Hey, good morning everyone. Uh, at least it's still morning somewhere. Uh, I'm going to be just uh, doing a quick video on my soldering uh, a new connector on for my new battery. Just to kind of give everyone an idea what safety procedures I use and what kind of uh, you know methods that I'm going to always try to use to do it safely and uh, effectively of course because everybody's got you know obviously different methods but you know we have um, you know you just got to be careful uh, batteries can be very dangerous because you know obviously they have a load and especially some of the bigger batteries there um, are pretty dangerous I just got haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet but I got a brand new uh, roaring top 6250 35C and it still has the uh, connector on it so uh, basically what I do is I never typically cut off the connectors uh, together I usually just do uh, cut off one by one and then I am um, using XT90 which is uh, I always have to feed on that little piece first so I'm usually <laughs> what do I do with my cutters now? God. Okay, there they are. Okay, I try to make sure I got everything laid out here. So um, what I'm uh, what I do on these on these XT uh, these EC5s, I just cut it right on the tip here, just because I don't want to take a long time to do it. And then before I do anything else, I always make sure I feed my my anti-spark connector on here first before I forget and then uh, I just leave this one here open for now and then um, uh, you know I got wire strippers and stuff here too and you know even just a, a exacto knife blade can do the job just exposing the bare wire so I'm just opening up the wire here I just use the uh, a blade because I'm lazy and I've done it so many times I don't really doesn't really matter to me how many times I do it and uh, then I'm gonna reposition the camera here because you want to see the gritty details right of what I'm doing uh, this one looks like it's too high so I'm just gonna lower turn my cam camera angle up a little bit anyway I've already got this um, prepped here so I can fit it on there and I'm gonna use my other thing here to kind of prop my battery up to a reasonable position here I just got it here where I can put it sorry for the big gut but you know the boy is inside me here okay it's here I'm that's where to keep the boy okay so then I got a Put it up a little higher and reposition my connector just a little bit here. And I'm putting the 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 wire on here. I have the uh, I always like I said I always like to make sure I do the same procedure. I put the positive up first so I can have the position available. I'm sticking the bare wire into this nice cone housing that the XT90 has it's always um, one of the reasons why I prefer using XT90 although the new IC5 uh, connectors are really nice too I really like those um, so what I'm doing is um, also before I start to just to show you that I have for safety reasons for battery I always like to make sure my heat is completely dissipated so I have a nice long lead here coming out of this extra, extra wire uh, this the, the the male um, EC I mean uh, XT90 connector I have a very long wire coming out to dissipate the heat as pause as much as possible and then uh, a little bit extra light here now I don't typically tend the wire because you know you don't want to spend a lot of time putting heat, any heat on the wire for especially for a battery 
and I'm constantly monitoring I'm actually have my hand on the battery feeling the temperature of the wire and it periodically most people you know yeah, it didn't start that good that kind of fell off the side but enough talk right now because I must use safety and make sure that I concentrate typically what I'm doing is I'm feeding enough solder on here and making sure that the solder is going to sink into the wire mesh itself a little bit too much here you see it's running over but that's okay I'm just going to cut off the excess later but the whole point is to make sure that you have a good solder in it I put too much if you can see but the whole point is to make sure that I'm not worried about what's coming off the side I'm more worried about what's coming onto the front of the uh, into the inside of the uh, the connector here because I want to make sure I have a nice shiny glow to the the solder that's the whole object of the situation here is to make sure that 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 is nice and shiny and you know I always go and I check it on the on the back side here too uh, on the inside on the back side you know but that is easy you just snip that off one of the nice things is these batteries can you can rotate that also but I always inspect I always do a 360 degree inspection of the whole wire just to make sure uh, that everything is okay I am not gonna bore you with doing the other side but just want to make sure that you're aware of what is the proper procedures for making sure that you have a good solid connection on your batteries making sure that you take your time on this step to make sure that you do not damage your battery make sure you're checking your wire temperature and everything I'm not gonna make this video too long so I won't be uh, boring you with the, all the gritty details because once I put the battery that once I put that on I just I'm just gonna be snapping the you know snapping the wire back on here that's it there's nothing really else to show you I mean it's just a very simply snapping into place that's it that's all that's all I gotta ha do for right now because I don't want to make this video too long but hopefully you know if you have to do it make sure that you do get a decent charger because you know you do want to make sure that you have the right char the right soldering iron because it is extremely important to make sure that you have a good soldering iron make sure that it's good an ample wattage you know especially for obviously for these bigger batteries you know that have you know you're gonna be pulling some amps okay so that's all I have for now thank you for watching my channel and uh, I appreciate you watching and have a nice day you know happy flying see you later guys